Welcome to the Raising Smart Kids podcast. I'm your host, Yang Pratt, and each week we'll explore ways in which the arts can help you raise a smarter kid. I'll be sharing ways the arts can propel your child's learning and interviewing top artists, educators, and entrepreneurs. These guests will share why the arts are so very important to your child, along with actionable ideas you can easily implement into your already busy schedule. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast here on iTunes and share us with a friend. For extra tips on raising smart kids, head on over to artsmartparenting.com and click on the live tab. Happy back to school season, Art Smart Parents. My kiddos just finished up their first week back to school, and we had our first week of classes at the academy. And all I can say is, wow. The past week was filled with so much great energy and excitement in seeing old friends, meeting new ones, and celebrating some firsts. My oldest celebrated her first day of eighth grade, and my youngest, the first day of fifth grade. And at my academy, we celebrated our first day of our sweet 16. It's hard to believe that we're going on 16 years of helping parents raise smarter kids through the arts. I don't know about you, but I always find it a bit sad to send my kids back to school. After a summer filled with late nights and lazy mornings, it's hard to let go and come to grips with the fact that they're going to be spending more time with their teachers and their friends during the week than they do with me. I guess that's what the parenting adventure is all about. Equipping our kids with the skills they need to go out into the world confidently and stand on their own two feet. I am truly thankful that my girls love learning and enjoy school, and I'm grateful that all of their teachers have put in countless hours to give my girls the best possible educational experiences. Well, back to school time inevitably means back to homework, and homework isn't always going to be easy. As we head into this new season of school and of our kids' lives, I want to ask you to become a consummate observer of your child and become his or her advocate during their educational journey. There's no better time than now to set the foundation for a successful school year. Discovering your child's unique gifts, talents, and superpowers is key. If you haven't already grabbed a copy of my book, Raising a Superhero, How to Unleash Your Child's Eight Superpowers and Propel Learning Through the Arts, head over to Amazon.com. You can be reading the book in a matter of minutes and learn the best ways to foster your child's superpowers, how to open up the dialogue about your child's learning and educational needs with his or her teachers, and how to find arts classes to help you support his or her unique gifts. On the podcast last week, Tara shared her story of her daughter's transformation in school after working with me personally. Don't wait and hope that your child's teacher holds the key to your child's learning destiny. You must boldly step in and be your child's champion at school. Learning isn't one size fits all, and I want to make sure you're armed with the knowledge and take action on creating your child's best possible educational journey. Let this be the year that your child excels in school and gains the confidence you wish for him. Let this be the year that your child discovers what she's really capable of doing. Let this be the year that you discover what is possible by partnering with your child's teacher or teachers. If you could use more help or guidance in putting together a plan of action, there's still time to apply for one of the select few one-on-one discovery sessions with me. Just head over to elcoarts.org forward slash work with young. It would be my absolute pleasure to help you transform your kid's educational experience and unleash his superpowers. 
Over the coming weeks, we'll be focusing on some specific strategies and ideas to help make the transition back to school a little easier and a lot more joyful. I know it's the start of the holiday weekend, so I've kept today's episode short. May your Labor Day weekend be filled with wonderful memories, grand adventures, and enjoy the art that surrounds you, no matter where you might find it. Thanks for tuning in to the Raising Smart Kids podcast. If you're enjoying this podcast, please share us with a friend and head on over to iTunes and leave us a review there and let us know you're enjoying the show. If you're looking for more tips on raising smart kids, head to Amazon.com and pick up a copy of my first book, Raising a Superhero, How to Unleash Your Child's Eight Superpowers and Propel Learning Through the Arts. Thanks for allowing me to be your guide on this parenting adventure, and I look forward to catching you next time.